we are finally in Italy. Our table was just full of plates of food. Welcome to Positano! Okay, so we are finally in Italy. This trip was planned in 2020, but due to COVID, obviously we had to cancel and then we didn't really feel comfortable going this time last year. Although, we did celebrate when we were supposed to be going to yes, Italy in 2020. We did. We, we, did. we, we brought Italy to Nashville. And we even, have a, we even have a picture, yeah. and we'll link it um, and show you guys, but we had our own little setup for the day we were supposed to leave. Yeah. We actually got here yesterday. Uh, won't you tell us all about it? Start at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. And when you come to the end, <laughs> stop. So here we are. Day has come. We're finally leaving to go to Italy. We get a ride share to the airport and trip starts off with a bang, literally a bang. On the way to the airport, our, our poor ride share driver bumped, uh, rear-ended a car in front of them. So that was unpleasant. Luckily, we gave ourselves plenty of time to get to the airport. We finally land in Naples. I actually set up a private transport to get us to the Amalfi Coast because after being here for 24 hours I can't I can confirm like you do not want to rent a car here so we had the private transportation which also included a stop in Pompeii for up to two and a half hours when we got to Pompeii I mean we we had a we had a shuttle um, but some might say we were also on a bus the struggle bus <laughs> buddy Tired. We made the best that made the best of it. We only had about two hours there. Some of the things that we just saw, we saw the theaters, the small and large theaters that they have there, which are magnificent. They even have uh, where you can see the marble of what it used to look like, the House of Menander, and I'm sure I'm not saying any of this correctly, but the house was gorgeous, where you can actually see, still see the paintings and the art on the wall. Also, the great gymnasium, which had a pool in the center, the amphitheater that they have, the Stabian Thermal Baths, which uh, had an interesting story in the audio tour I did, where you will see they were using forced perspective in their art. Before Definitely. art was intentionally applying forced perspective, they were doing it intuitively, um, which was super interesting. And then the forum was amazing. I just realizing at Pompeii is, uh, and then all over Italy, this is a thing you encounter is some public restrooms you have to pay for. And fellas, I found out <laughs> the hard way <laughs> that most free public restrooms and toilets do not have toilet seats. Now, the in my experience, the paid public restrooms do have toilet seats. So then we got back in the car. And our uh, driver was great. Uh, highly recommend uh, Rainbow Limos, and we'll post the the link below if you're interested in hiring a private driver to get you down here. He was wonderful. He kept us awake the whole time because yeah. that was definitely a struggle. Told Just, lots of great stories, yeah. had history of the towns as we drove through them, which was good because as we were driving through, we didn't know what we were looking at. I had been in contact with our Airbnb host. Turns out so had my driver, which was great. So that's a, a little hidden gem that uh, I didn't even know was included, but he coordinated the time like when we were going to arrive and then our Airbnb host met us. So he took care of all that, which was which was awesome. The drive into Positano, the scenic drive, a Amalfi Drive, I think is what it's called, was Beautiful. gorgeous. You are just driving along this road that is literally carved into the cliffs. Airbnb I just happened to find and I think what sold me on it was the views which you can kind of see behind us. We'll definitely link uh, our Airbnb below because it's beautiful and 
highly recommend and the Airbnb host is wonderful and gave great restaurant recommendations and things to do. We ended up eating dinner at the Gali Bistro. We had grand plans to wake up and get breakfast this morning. Um, yeah. And then we slept 12 hours. I found a great Airbnb experience um, that is kind of like a limoncello and marmalade tasting and he kind of tells you about what he does and, and how it's made and uh, it was really awesome. I kind of just booked that on a whim, um, but it's not expensive at all and it's only about 45 minutes, which is great. So um, it's a pretty quick tour, but it was awesome. Yeah, you sit on this little, on a cliff. Yeah. Uh, everything's on a cliff here and you do this tasting he tells you about how he makes it and then at the end he takes you to down below where you've been sitting this whole time is his garden yes on a which cliff. is crazy um so uh that was amazing bought uh, lots of things at their stores little bitty store and then after that we um we went to go find lunch we actually took a path from Positano Beach over to... For Nilo Beach. Uh, we went to the Ferdinando restaurant. Yes. We had some amazing sandwiches. Yes. I had the Panino Ferdinando. And I had, I think it was mozzarella and parma, which, oh, it was so good. I actually think hers was better, but they were both amazing. Yes, so good. And then after that... First gelato in Italy. I got pistachio and stracciatella. We got black lava, dark chocolate, and coffee. And it's melting. <laughs> very fast. Positano, very hilly, a lot of steps, it's fine going down, but when you're at the beach and you're like us, now it's time to go back up to the Airbnb. Well. Lots of stairs. <laughs> so many stairs! This is where we are and where we've got to go. Our Airbnb is somewhere up here. So it's gonna be a hike.
just been enjoying this view at the Airbnb. Tonight, we are going to a restaurant that's been highly recommended. Uh, but I don't think we're gonna take our camera. We'll probably have video or pictures. I think it's supposed to be kind of loud and crazy and exciting, sure. um, so. For sure, so we'll, we'll be able to report back on that uh, soon. So we ended our first full day at La Tagliata, which is a family-owned farm restaurant, which we had to take a shuttle. It probably took 10 minutes, yeah, 10 or maybe. Minutes. It had yeah, a couple, go, had a couple stops, but. And you go way up on the hill. Yes, um, way, beautiful. way up, uh, beautiful views. And then as soon as you sit down, it, it's chaos a little bit in a you, good way you sit down there's bread already on the table and then after you sit down there's a bottle of water a bottle of wine immediately <laughs> dropped on your table and like and six different starters six starters our table was just full of plates of food so much stuff. I, they they go they drop it so fast that you don't even have time to hear what they're saying. It, yeah, it, but it was all every bit of it yeah. was amazing. Yes, uh, and it almost like you you kind of were like, okay, what's what's coming next? Uh, what, what came next? Pasta. Pasta. Four, yeah, four different, different types kinds. of pasta. And they were all amazing. After the pasta came the salad. Yeah, which, which was kind of random. <laughs> we did take a couple of bites. After the <laughs> salad, they brought a plate of fries next. Yes, which was again kind of random. Yeah, but, but they very were good. so good. And and then after the fries came the meats. I think there was like five or six different kinds. Sausage, there was beef, pork, lamb, rabbit, any... shish kebab. It was all so it was good. Amazing. The next thing they, they brought out was uh, limoncello, followed by... Like three different kinds of dessert? Oh, it, well, fruit. They just had strawberries. Oh, so good. And... Then there was... I'd... There was like a lemon cake. Yeah, and there... And there was some the, kind like of bread. Like bread. banana bread, but it was not banana bread. I don't I don't know. And, and then the then chocolate. Pro, which pro, profo, profolitos. We're, we're definitely butchering that. Um, but wow, yes. whatever that chocolate sauce, I don't know how, I don't know how else to describe it, on yeah, like a was, doughy bun. Oh, they were so good. And it wasn't something I had even ever heard of until like last, I mean, I didn't, that was not something that I had thought of. And then you're not gonna believe this, but we slept in again. <laughs> we did it again! We, we kind of we just walked around and we found a cute little bakery. I think it's called Kalina. <laughs> Kalina's Bakery. Yeah, well, and we've now been there three times today, yeah. so if that tells you anything. Yeah, the first time we got two little baby cannolis. It's just a baby. A Nutella donut. Mmm, worth it. They do put a little bit of Nutella in the Nutella donut. And uh, a, some kind of sandwich. The bread is so soft. It was delicious. Yeah. And then we went and visited the church. Visiting that church just got me excited about everything else we're gonna see when we go to Rome, yeah. uh, Florence, and Venice. Uh, yeah, and then and then we kind of just walked around.
feel like it was quintessential Positano with just all the different shops, bakeries, flowers, cafes. Oh, the, the whole walk just smelled like flowers yeah. because just flowers everywhere. Yeah. Um, it was so pretty. And, uh, and we also noticed that today, today's Monday, and we were here obviously yesterday, came in on Saturday, and um, we noticed a big difference in the crowds today. I definitely yeah. think it was less crowded. So if yeah. you're thinking about coming, especially during high season, not that it would probably make a huge difference, but yeah. definitely would recommend to come during the week. We stopped back at that little bakery and to get a, one of those frozen lemon sorbets and gelato. We booked a sunset boat tour, Tonight. which we're about to yeah. board yes. right now. Looking forward to seeing Positano and all of the coast from the water.